Ah, finally, a really comfortable staircase to descend into the beach area. Nashua, this is the Second Majesty 140 hull. The Majesty brand continues to make pleasure crafts that get bigger and bigger. They are finishing a 54 meter one and are ready to make a super yacht of over 60 meters. It too in fiberglass. Majesty 140 has three decks plus a sun deck. It is admired for all of its lines, with frequent symmetries and large number of windows, which offer magnificent views from all over the indoor environment. The search for a constant contact with the outdoors is the reason behind this construction, with among other factors, is exalted by a vast beach area. I wanted to find a different point of view to snap a picture of this super yacht. It's very beautiful from here also. This is the time to explore it, but pay attention. It has so many environments that you could get lost. I would start from the top by observing it with the hard top entirely closed, the boat awnings acting as sunshades installed at both bow and stern. Whereas uncovered, it reveals the breadth and beauty of its outdoor areas. It is equipped with all the furniture useful for a comfortable life outdoors, the conversation area, the sofas surrounding the compass rows. On the side opposite the dining table is the bar area with stools, a flat surface for the aperitifs and then the barbecue, the cooking plate, fridge, ice maker, anything you want. Toward the stern, the hot tub and room for the tanning beds. Let us descend. You will notice that the layout is not all conventional. Outside of the wheelhouse, just like on a real ship, the wings with the control room, perfect ideal for docking. Behind the wheelhouse, you could find the skipper's command, but they arranged it differently on this unit by reserving one on the lower deck and adding here a pull-out bed. So what is there behind here? The seventh guest cabin. A little bit more toward the stern, the master apartment. Tutte le cabine armatoriali hanno una grande finestra affacciata sul mare. All of the owners' cabins have a large window overlooking the sea, but this one has two of them. And also, as if it weren't enough, another outdoor area, a private terrace. The bulkheads are so far from one another and from the bed, they had to install the television at the end of the double bed. There are armchairs, a breakfast table, bookcase, container furniture with desk and then the walk-in closet. The bathroom has two sinks, the shower enclosure, and from the bathtub, look at the view! For the lining of the master bath, they used a very prestigious onyx, and on the boat floor, they sprayed it with a slip-resistant paint, because it's not just about beauty, but safety counts too. Let us remain on the third deck and at the bow we find an area with three tables and three sofas. Further ahead at the summits there are two jet skis. 
Hanno due ancore, ciascuna delle quali pesa 167 They have two anchors, each weighing 167 kilos, and then a chain of 126 meters. Imagine how powerful the winches are. Il salone principale ha una superficie di The main hall has a surface area of 55 square meters and to give you an idea of this construction's interior volumes, one fact out of all, the air conditioning system has a capacity of 360,000 BTUs. 10 people can sit around the dining table. On the boat floor, the onyx is framed by wood. A service area is joined with the kitchen, which directly communicates with the stern's crew area. It is built in series, but then they can customize it. Consider that they have a team of 40 people between designers and engineers. Per esempio, questo salotto all'ingresso di questa zona riservata di prua. For instance, this lounge at the entrance of the reserved area of the stern, the double cabin, which is on the left side, and the other one on the right side, both with their own private bathroom, can be converted into an enormous ship owner's apartment. Hanno portato la finestratura sul lato più esterno, e così. They brought the window on the more exterior side, and so here it overlooks the water. Actually, if this were the master cabin, they would have installed a balcony here, the types of electro-hydraulic movement to lean over the sea. Double cabins as you prefer, or with bathrooms en suite, lined with onyx. This is a double cabin, and to assess how big this space is, consider that the beds are queen size. If I were a guest, I would consider above all the cabin's comfort, and this one has two important qualities, its spaciousness and its position. In the middle of the craft and with the boat floor underneath the waterline, a condition of maximum stability. If you have a huge wardrobe and there is not enough room in the cabin, there are two more closets here. The entire construction is in fiberglass, then specific structures, like the steps for instance, are in steel. It is all covered in wood, very beautiful to see, but above all to touch, since it has a natural, extraordinary effect. Super yacht come questo ha bisogno di un equipaggio numeroso. A super yacht like this one needs a large crew and on the Majesty 140 there are five cabins for nine people in two separate areas and a super kitchen. It is a new model and obviously it is equipped with all the latest technologies and equipment for sailing and communication. There is a GMDSS radio station to sail in the A1 plus A2 area, since it is a pleasure vessel. Even with regard to the propulsion system, they chose the state-of-the-art and two MTU engines with 16-valve cylinders, 2,600 horses and 2,450 revolutions per minute. This overturned windscreen is not just useful for its style, but above all to sail well, and you realise it when the weather is bad. The diesels are obviously matched to a shaft line. Per controllarla durante le manovre, elica di prua e to control it during the maneuvers, bow and stern propeller. During the sailing, the tiller and the throttles or the wheel. If you choose to take it easy, set the engines at their minimum, 600 revolutions per minute, and the total consumption is just 22 litres an hour. 
stiamo navigando a circa 5 nodi e quindi We are sailing at about 5 knots and therefore with full fuel tanks 44,554 liters you can cross the Atlantic and return accelerate appena un po' but if you accelerate just a little and let the engines rise close to 800 revolutions a minute the fuel consumption almost triples the hourly one whereas the one based on mileage doubles since we are going faster six knots six knots and a half in any case you can still cross the atlantic stiamo navigando con onde di un metro e mezzo altra we are sailing with waves of a meter and a half a beam this upiot is in any case very stable in order to make it even more comfortable, they installed two stabilizing flippers, one per side. I found a transfer speed that is more suitable to reach one's destination quickly, about 10 knots and a half. The consumption is now of 240 to 250 liters per hour overall, and the autonomy is in any case still around 2,000 miles. Okay, adesso... Ok, now we will let it go a little faster. Tenete presente che oggi le condizioni non sono Consider that today the conditions are not ideal, so the data I'm about to provide, especially at the high speeds, would be better if the sea were completely calm. But a craft like this one must sail in any condition. It's certified to sail without any limits. Questi diesel DMTU sopportano tranquillamente These MTU diesels easily support a constant cruising speed of 2100 revolutions per minute and the speed is 15 knots, well 14 knots and a half. It depends a little on the direction I go in. E ora andiamo per la massima. And now let's go for the maximum. Yes, we must go at the maximum speed, even with a 43 meters. Ah, what a slipstream! We're at full load today, the engines reach 2,230 revolutions per minute and the speed is 16 knots. But this super yacht, under the most favourable conditions, can reach 18 knots. La risposta al tiller è talmente rapida che... The reaction to the tiller is so rapid that you can't even imagine it. And look at the evolution radius. I believe that he who is lucky enough to own a yacht like this one should share it, not just with his family, but with friends, even with us. Da un punto di vista tecnico non ha scuse perché questa unità può essere... From a technical point of view he has no excuses since this unit cannot be classified even as a charter boat and with regard to hospitality well we are happy with any cabin we don't expect the best one. Oops. <laughs>